Hi, I'm Shane with Tough One Products, and today we're going to discuss a few options on uh, basically slow feed hay nets uh, for both inside your barn and in such as the dry lot as you see behind me. Um, today's world, it's unavoidable that we put our horses in very unnatural situations where they don't get the graze uh, on pasture. We keep them in stalls, uh, obviously we haul them in trailers, um, put them on dry lots, um, picket lines. So there's all sorts of instances where we kind of put them in unnatural settings. So we want to try and mimic or replicate the natural grazing process. So here's a couple examples that we use for, again, like a dry lot situation. We've got a uh, slow feed hay net, as you see here. Again, it just slows them down. You can hang it in a lower position because it has the smaller openings and it just gives them a more natural grazing position. Uh, another option is the web feeder. Uh, this is a particular favorite of mine. It's just incredibly durable. Um, again, we have actually thought this through. So it actually is a woven in. It's not just the net laying on top of the web laying on top of one another. It actually is like a basket weave, which gives it even more strength. There's only one connection point. Many of them do four. They have distinct sides, distinct fronts and back. Ours is a continuous. There's only one connection point, which again, adds to the durability. Um, we have a strap on the bottom. This isn't actually hooked up. Uh, depending on what if you're on a gate or a fence or a board fence, you can wrap this around and snap it here. It just keeps them from flipping it over the fence, uh, which would cause frustration and uh, could cause accidents as well. Um, another option is just the entire square bale. Um, this is good for multiple horses or if you're going to be gone for a uh, long duration. But getting back to the amount of hay, these will hold about half of a uh, small square bale. But you really need to uh, consider your horse's condition. Uh, you know, a typical 1,000 pound horse uh, consumes about 20, 25 pounds of hay. So you just kind of use common sense. Like if it's a single horse, multiple horses, you have multiple horses, you may want to consider using multiple fence feeders positioned in different locations just to keep them from competing for uh, the forage. Uh, once you close this up, there is a piece of hardware here that you loop it through. It actually locks the drawstring in position and you just tuck it inside the feeder uh, just so they can't you know, get caught in it or whatever. Um, you can also take this and you can actually fix it to something, a pole post or something up high. But again, uh, you just gotta use good judgment that you're putting it on something that's secure uh, that they can't you know, hurt themselves on. And the same with the fence feeders. The fence feeders, you gotta use common sense on that. You wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily hang it on you know, just a wire, woven wire fence. You need to use you know, your support post here, a gate, um, something that's secure. I mean, just use common sense. Um, I'm going to show you this one as well. This is more for trailering, uh, picket line, uh, stall. It's great in a stall. Horses typically uh, in a natural setting will graze up to 18 hours a day. So when we put them in a stall, just throw the hay in, uh, and just let them eat off the ground. It is a natural grazing position, but it's not, they're going to scarf it down really quickly and then they're going to be standing the rest of the day. That's when you can get to horses to get into habits such as weaving, cribbing, those sort of things. It also is good from a, a digestive standpoint because it's going to keep the hay as it would in nature on their stomachs for a longer period of time so that those uh, stomach acids have something to continually work on which will reduce, uh, again, just reduce ulcers. Um, we have another option. We actually have the netting. This one's a very nice option. It's just a economy option to compare to the woven web feeder. The woven web feeder is uh, one I, I use personally, so I can vouch for the durability and just the, the efficiency of this bag. But again, this will accomplish the same thing. It's just a price point. Um, very durable. Again, the small openings. It can also be, either one of these can be hung 
and the stall in a lower position that allows them a more natural head position when eating. And the small openings will prevent any entanglement. Um, please go to toughone.com for all the options available on our not only hay feed products, but also all the products that we do carry uh, to get all your color, size options. So please go to toughone.com or follow us on social media. Mm -hmm.